Welcome to Little Mountain on Grandpa's Farm. Grandma gave me a call recently saying my grandpa passed away two weeks ago. We had to come back to Little Mountain here to help out on my grandpa's farm. He left us with a bunch of different equipment that he couldn't sell off yet because he didn't, he didn't make it in time to sell off anything. Now his plan was to give up on the farm, but since he is sadly gone now, we're going to be taking over this farm and taking over uh, what is left. Now we have two different fields here. We have this field and then we have this big field here already grow with grass as the last thing he done so we're gonna go ahead and make it happen on grandpa's farm good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel where we are back on grandpa's farm and we have a lot of things to do i got to cultivate both of the fields and get them prepped for the next planting not too entirely sure when that's going to be but i do want to get the cultivating done and just get that all out of the way and so I know that's all done. So if you're wondering why I now have twenty more thousand dollars than what I did in the last episode is because I actually did that field, belted it all up, and took it all straight to the co-op over there. And let me go, you, made some pretty good, decent money. But I would like to get this field all cultivated and the other field all cultivated, and then I'll probably just go from there for today. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I just need to figure out what we're going to be planting next i mean it is almost winter time literally so yeah but i guess we can go ahead and take the big john deere 370 out of here which is the ar and the cultivator get this warmed up so let's go ahead and just get that warmed up and one thing I didn't realize that was in here was this uh, skid steer no plow. So I, I guess that'll be a uh, pretty good help around the farm just in case we get a snowstorm and we need to get out of here. So that should be warmed up now. It's been about like maybe 20 minutes since I had it warming up. I know the one thing I didn't find on the farm was a planter. But yeah, we got to, it would be nice to actually invest into a planter. But being so late in the season, I don't really feel the need to actually go and buy a planter right now i mean i could always wait till next season but uh i guess we'll just see what goes on but like to cultivate the uh headlands here first is what i'm trying to do and get lined up it's honestly great that grandpa did buy this last piece of equipment because it is honestly a lot of help around the farm i mean it's not really a big field but i can see why he bought it just for the length or the width it's not going to be the uh, purpose job in the world, but we will sure get it done and ready for the next planting. With it going to be snow in here, I mean, we could try to plant some vegetables, like, uh, per se, I would love to do corn. I don't know exactly what to plant since it is already October. It's almost the end of the month already, uh, but I don't know. Like I said, I'll just I'll figure it out. Well, with Sue being in the tractor, she's our next door neighbor, and she always gives, gave Grandpa help when I wasn't here, and uh, we were just talking there for a little bit, and she said she'll help me cult finish cultivating while I gotta go figure out some other things. I do want to look at a planter, so that's what we're gonna be going to look at right now. Alrighty, so good news and bad news. I found a good planter. It's a little bit of old school planter. The dealership has it for sale. But bad news is $45,000 that we do not have. I only have about 28000 in the bank uh, sent currently right now. So I don't, honestly, I have no clue what to do from here. Being with that much money in the bank, I mean, I can go ahead and post uh, probably the Ford for sale, to be honest. I mean, not that I really want to do that, but nope, got to do what you got to do sometimes so you can get a little bit of a pocket change. So I think that's what we're going to do is go ahead and sell the Ford. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. You can do it. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. Good job. Probably just going to let that warm up for a little bit. Uh, spray it off and then go ahead and put it up front at the house for sale. And see if somebody stops in and gets it. Alrighty, well, the old girl does sure clean up pretty fine there. But I got it up for sale. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wait and see if anybody stops in and see if they want to buy it here. While we're waiting on the Ford to be sold, I guess we can go ahead and check up on Sue. I still got to put the mower away. Oh, she's already almost done. You missed a little bit of patch over here, Sue. That's all right. I'll get it when you're done. Right, well, the tractor's gone. He's already halfway down the road there, and that Ford does move. Uh, but made about $14,000, and 
uh, somehow still don't got enough for the planner. Anyways, I guess let's go ahead and hop back into the, the AR and then we can fix that little patch there and then go ahead and get the other side cultivated. Alright, let me go ahead and take this over to the other field, get that all cultivated and done. I would like to mow around the farm as well. I'm just gonna go over to the sort and see if we can't just get a planter for lease. Let's go ahead and finish cultivating later the other field because it really doesn't need it right now. I'm not too worried about it. I just want to go ahead and see if I can't get a planter and I did not look for any oncoming traffic. I already just got over to the uh, IH dealer here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and see if they have planner up for lease here. So, alrighty, well, there's our new planner on for lease. It's about $500 a month or a thousand. I can't remember exactly what he said. Go ahead and hook this bad boy up, and then we should be good to go. Quite a bit of time, but I got the seeds up there. Uh, all because you should. You shouldn't. Okay, well, we made it back to the farm, and it looks like we do still got our seeds up on our uh, cedar here. So, hey, my theory was right. If it fits, it chips. Alright, you guys. Well, I decided not to plant. I did buy the planter. I had to go buy new batteries for my camera because my batteries ran out and I didn't realize it so I didn't really capture anything that I really did. The only thing that I did capture was obviously cultivating the other field which Sue did help us with that. I do gotta cultivate this field as well because I'm just prepping for winter. Changed all my plans. I'm not gonna be planting right now. I'm just gonna wait until after winter because I guess we're gonna be getting a snowfall here. If you are wondering why I'm driving a Ford right now is because I actually traded my Chevy for this Ford because we wanted each other's trucks. This is what I traded my Chevy for and this looks super nice here. I might change the wheels and tires back. I'm not 100% sure yet. I mean it's going to be a good farm truck we have a ranch hand on it of course and then obviously we have our toolbox and the back rack and this one that's the only thing that i took out of the truck and plus we have a gooseneck ball hook on the back of this f-350 as well but currently trying to put everything away besides the cultivator and the 8r over there because i gotta finish cultivating that field right there i'm just like i said i'm just prepping for winter here i'm gonna go ahead and move this back into the shed try to get that model a started here i don't know how long it's been sitting there but i'm gonna go ahead and just put everything away that's one piece of machine down and i can't wait to use this after winter dude like I said, this was a new machine that Grandpa bought well, but I do want to get that hooked up to the skid steer. I'm going to go ahead and continue putting this stuff back and then go ahead and get to cultivating as well. I'm actually very shocked this uh, IH here that Grandpa owned still runs. Like, I'm actually shocked that it still runs to this day. I did put the baler in there. I kept the uh, grain carts in there, and then I put the uh, new planter that we have on lease. I believe we can get that paid off real soon. And I have my cultivator for my Alice Chalmers in the back here. That's what we got going for us. I still got to get the semi in the uh, shed as well. Alrighty, well, hopefully I have enough room to go here and get on the cultivator. I should honestly use that plan to try to get the try. semi in here. I'm gonna go ahead and jump up in here, get it all started. Down. It's already warmed up, ready to go. But the and then go ahead and cultivate so we can get that out of the way. And pretty soon uh, Sue's gonna be coming to pretty soon to help us get this out of the way or get this done and stuff. Well, I got Sue in the tractor there. She just came by after I got done finished with the headland there. So I'm just going to let her finish up and then get her a good payday as well before winter. She been helping me around the farm a lot too, but I got to I got to move this planter. I don't like it sitting there. I want to put the uh, the whole tractor trailer in here too. Oh yeah, just like that. We have a lot of room in here. I was honestly scared that we wasn't going to have any type of room to fit this whole thing in here. Good on that and have to, all the equipment is away now. 
Besides the model way, I gotta try to get it started here. Put that away, and then I gotta get the cultivator and the ADR back in there. When Sue's all done, looks like she's already done. Look, just in case the uh, model way doesn't start, just go ahead and pull my the Ford around. And just let it sit there for about 10 minutes, and she should be done. I'm fully charged. We're not fully charged, but see the progress on Sue. It looks like she uh, has one more streak to do. I think over winter time, I do want to try to get that Suburban started. I mean, not like we have any use for it around the uh, farm, but another vehicle wouldn't hurt. Oh, I guess let's go ahead and give this Model A a try since she's been charging here for a couple minutes now. Hop up in her and see if she'll go. Almost. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. There you go. All right, let that thing warm up right here. Get the jumpers off of it. But yeah, I think after winter, I'm actually like extremely excited to plant corn and harvest that. Actually, really excited about that here. But of course, that'll be after winter. Oh yeah, my backup skills are one point. All right, we got everything put away. Put away first too. Actually, I lied. We had the other John Deere and the skid steer, so I'll go ahead and put those away. As always, if you guys did enjoy today's video, let me know down in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio.